Welcome back to Overthinking Tech. This is going to be the first video in a series all covering Logitech Media Server. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this video is just going to be a talking headpiece, just me here talking. And I debated whether or not to do this as one long video where I tried to cover all of Logitech Media Server, or if I wanted to do multiple short videos. And I decided to do multiple shorter videos, so I don't think any one of these is going to be particularly long, but there are going to be quite a few pieces. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to set up Logitech Media Server. I'm going to also in the series show you how to integrate Logitech Media Server with Home Assistant so that you have full control of it there, uh, as well as show you a couple of tricks for some scripting inside of Home Assistant that I've figured out playing around with this. I'm also going to show you PyCore Player, which is sort of part of Logitech Media Server, like it's a required component, but also completely separate. This series of videos might end up getting a little bit circular as a result, where I have two videos that are separate from each other, but where I both reference each other in those videos, which is part of why I decided to do this as a series, because there's a, a lot of components to this. I also, along with this, I'm going to show you how to use USB DACs with the Raspberry Pis that I'm using. I'm going to show you how to set it up without USB DACs. I'm going to show you how to convert a smart speaker into, or sorry, I'm going to, a dumb speaker into a smart speaker. By the way, I'm not converting a smart speaker into anything. Uh, so there's going to be a number of videos. Check out whichever ones you want. Why am I doing this? What am I doing? What's Logitech Media Server? Because I had never heard of it at all. Had not heard of it. So let's start with why am I doing this? Well, my home audio experience started a while ago. Uh, in fact, the most popular video on my channel to date is my Volumeo tutorial. And I was working on smart home controllable audio stuff way before that. I, I've been on the lookout for a better option, but it also needs to be something that is still easy to use. And that's where I think smart speakers have sort of stepped in as the de facto this is how you can really easily play music. You just ask it to play music and it does. Now I'm fine with a little bit of complex setup, as long as the devices are actually easy to use day to day. I mean, like we gotta be one button click in order to have music playing. Anything beyond that, and it just presents as too much of a barrier to interaction for me to actually use it and play music, or just becomes that consistent annoyance where I'm just like, I don't want to have to deal with this. So I started looking for a solution that allowed for sort of one click, I can play music, and ideally one click and I can play music in any room of my house that I want. Coincidentally, because I've been working on this for years now, you can go see when the Volume Mio video is and the Logitech media server stuff I've been working on for a couple months, getting it sort of just perfect. And coincidentally, I think about two weeks ago, Linus Tech Tips released a video of his whole home music setup. And I might have to title this video something clickbaity because I really didn't like his solution. Amongst other things, it's really expensive, but also it requires that I run wires everywhere. For those who didn't watch his video, which I'll link to it down below, basically what he did is he got a bunch of Sonos hubs and set those up and then hardwired speakers in his ceilings to those. And this is really expensive for a number of reasons. One, there's a good chance you don't already have compatible speakers. Two, you have to run the wire, which can be difficult. And if, you're, if you have to hire somebody because some people can't run wire, then it gets really spendy. And two, I guess three, even without that, it's not, I mean, he spent like thousands of dollars just on the Sonos hubs. Uh, but the other last component is I wanted a solution that, you know, just worst case scenario happens, still works without internet. 
right? That's all what we're what we're all going for at some level, I think, because nobody likes it when their device stops working because a company cuts off a service. Now, I'm not familiar with how those Sonos devices work, but it looks like there's an app to set them up that generally screams external server. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Do those Sonos devices work completely offline with no server maintenance from Sonos? So I was looking for something entirely locally hostable, but also maybe with some ability to use internet services because I use Tidal. It was the other one that wanted Tidal integration, way less common than Spotify. I also wanted to be able to play local music. I wanted to be able to have playlists set up that I could just send and play anywhere. I also really wanted Home Assistant to be able to play any audio file it had directly to those speakers. It gives you some clever options for smart home integration where things like alarms, if I tell Home Assistant to set an alarm, it can go off through any speaker and it can even tell me like, hey, this is the alarm that's going off, or this is the reminder that was set. And it can use the text to voice system to create that and then push it to any of the speakers in my house in real time. I also wanted uh, between room audio integration, again, without having to run any wires between rooms or to a central location. I wanted everything is really what this came down to. And I was all set to do this entire series about setting up Cody, recognizing that it couldn't do everything, and I thought it was the best option. But then I found Logitech Media Server, and oh boy, it's amazing. So we gotta start with what is it? And honestly, I, I, I've tried reading through the Wikipedia and figuring out exactly like how this came into being in its current state, and I, I can't. I cannot tell you how this came into being in its current state. So let me crash course you on the background. This is a system that has gone through multiple names. Slim Media Server, Squeeze Media Server, Logitech Media Server. Most recently, it seems to go by the name Logitech Media Server, which gets abbreviated by a lot of people as LMS. Now this gets a little confusing because the official web page for it is still called Squeeze Media Server. Okay, it's not Squeeze Media Server. It's my squeeze box. I mean, everything about this screams old, right? But if you start looking, get more out of your squeeze box. There's a lot of integrations here. These all still work, including, look at that, a title integration. Weirdly, they have title but not Spotify. I will show you how to set up and log into these accounts. It's super easy for the ones that are integrated. Spotify takes a little more work because I don't use it. I'm, I'm not going to cover it. But mostly I use this for playing media that I already own and is on my server. Like I can come into Home Assistant and I can just select any device I want and I can do text to speech. And I can do this manually, but I can also set this up to work with through Teams. And this works with as many of these devices as I want. And if we look at integrations, uh, what does this fall under? Devices and services, squeeze box, in parentheses, Logitech Media Server, shows up immediately. All of my entities show up. And I can do stuff like join these together. And on top of all that, this fully works without any internet connectivity, minus my title integration. Which, I mean, like, obviously, it's title, it's, it's in the cloud. It does absolutely everything. Everything you've ever wanted in a integrated home sound system, basically. This does it. And it's completely free. And it's been around for years. Like, this isn't new. This has been here for literally decades now. And it's flawless. It has got to be the best audio synchronization between rooms I have ever heard. I think this video was just me being honestly still excited about finding this. 
and telling people about it because I had never heard of it. The rest of this series is going to be me showing you how to set up Logitech Media Server, how to use PyCore Player, how to integrate it with Home Assistant, how to write scripts. There's a couple of quirks. It's about the worst I could call them. If you're watching this video to this point and you need a takeaway of why should I watch the rest of it, because this is literally for me like the end goal of home music and home audio has just been reached. We're done. We finished this decades ago and apparently I, no one ever told me. If I don't have the rest of the videos out, they're coming out soon. I'm working on them. There's probably gonna be about a half dozen in total. So like and get subscribed so you can see those.